Hey everybody, I'm Jason Page with Light Painting Brushes and tonight I'm going to show you how to create a light man or woman using tools from the Light Painting Brushes line. So the tools that I'm going to be using tonight are simply one single opaque light writer. I've got an orange light writer here and this is what I'm going to actually use to create the light man or woman. And I've got one single color filter here. It's the yellow color filter with the hood on top of it. Uh, the hood kind of blocks out the light so it won't be seen by the camera and this is what I'm going to use to add in all the different little highlights within the scene just to give the scene a little illumination. So all you're going to do to actually create the light man or woman is simply illuminate your light source and then trace over your body like this during the exposure. What this is going to do is the camera is going to pick up the movement of light and it's going to leave just the trail of your body as long as you're wearing dark clothes it's just going to leave the light source and the light trails from your body in your image and you won't see any of you. So a couple of tips. Number one, you want to make sure you're wearing all dark clothing. This way you're not going to show up in the image. And then the other thing is um, you want to make sure you choose a position that's going to be really easy to maintain. I'm going to go ahead and just sit here on this bench because I think sitting down is the easiest way to create these. It's the easiest way for me to stay still rather than standing. I don't get any swaying action or anything like that. The settings that we're going to use for this are ISO 100, f5.6, and we're just going to shoot on bulb mode. It's plenty dark enough out here. We've got just a little bit of moonlight. We don't have any street lights or any ambient light to worry about, so that we don't have anything that's going to blow out our image, and we can just let the exposure run as long as we need to. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, create an image now. I'm just going to take a seat on the bench, choose a position that's really easy for me to maintain. I'm going to use the... Uh, the opaque light writer to just trace my body those traces of light are going to leave the illumination of the light being and then I'll just come in with the color filter and hood just to add a little more light into the scene and brighten it up a little bit. So we'll go ahead and kill the light and start the exposure. All right and here we go. I like to start down on one foot and then just work my way up and back down. And again, we're using ISO 100, F5.6, and just shooting on bulb mode. I'm just tracing over my leg here. Another good tip is um, it's good to wear kind of tight clothing. If you're wearing kind of big baggy clothing, this is a little bit harder to do. Because the tighter you can stay to your body, the better the, uh, the light figure is actually going to be. And when I get down to the bottom here of this foot, I'm just going to turn the light off. Now I've gone up both legs, so I've, I'm just going to start back here at my hips again, going across like this. Again, just trying to stay as tight to my body as I can, literally just running it right across my stomach and chest here. Now I'm going to trace down this arm, staying as close as I can to the arm, back and forth, back and forth, wrapping all the way around. I don't have a glove on, so I'm going to go ahead and just kind of really light up that hand to kind of cover it up. Coming up here to do the shoulder, kind of wrapping the neck a little bit. And again, now that I've already illuminated this other arm, I'm free to move it and now illuminate this one. So I'll kind of choose the same position on this side here. I'll start at my shoulder and work my way down. Wrapping the arm back and forth. This. Same thing on the hand, kind of light it up a little bit. Now I like to switch back because it's just easier for me to use my right hand. I'm going to go around my neck, I'm going to do my chest a little bit, around the neck, and around my head. I usually go around my head twice to really cover up my face. And turn it off now. I'm gonna come in, just hop up. I'm gonna come in with the uh, color filter and just kind of add a little light into the scene. Kind of paint the uh, the bench in there. And as you can see, I'm working in front of the camera with this. Yet the camera's not gonna pick up any streaks of light because of the the hood that's over the light. Go ahead. Got a plane going over there. Let's add a little more light into the scene. And that should be good. Now we'll go ahead and stop the exposure. See what we got. And there you go. There you have it. We've got a illuminated light figure. I'll bring this up to the camera here. Maybe we can see it. Mm -hmm. 
So I hope you guys enjoyed this video tutorial and I hope it gives you a little bit of inspiration to get out there and try it yourself. If you have any questions at all, please let me know. You can hit me up on Instagram or Facebook or always send an email to the Light Painting Brushes website. I'm more than happy to help anybody I can. If you're using the Light Painting Brushes, please make sure you tag Light Painting Brushes on Instagram and Facebook so we can find your images and then share them with the community. We've got a great community of artists sharing all kinds of tips and techniques and also in all kinds of inspiring work. So if you're not a member of those groups, please do join us there. Um, all kinds of great stuff happening. Again, I'm Jason Page with Light Painting Brushes. Thank you all so much for the support and get out there and get creative.